What's up, YouTube? Jesus the God Man series. Matthew 1. Got to share some revelatory knowledge with you. Jesus said, Except a man. He said, If you don't know who I am, you die in your sins. Okay? I believe that's John 8. So this is very important for your salvation. Okay? You got to understand who God is, folks. Matthew. Um. We'll start one eighteen. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, being married, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Okay? So right there, Jesus doesn't have two fathers, folks. Okay? Why, is, why does the Bible say the Holy Ghost is the father of Jesus? So you want to, I want you to think. Okay? Corinthians says there's only one spirit. Okay? Now we're going to go over to uh, verse 1, Matthew 1. This is the very first chapter of the New Testament. Okay? God's showing you right off the bat what's going on. But you need Him to open your understanding. And He does that through teachers and through the Bible. Okay? I'm the teacher. This is the Bible. <laughs> Follow along. Um... But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, for not to take thee unto thee marry thy, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Okay, there's a second time. God is telling you the Father of Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Follow along. Now listen, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now all of this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Okay, that's verse 22. Now see, it's always referring back, like I say in many videos, this stuff is referring back to the prophets. Who is the prophet right here? Uh, this is Matthew 1 and 22. They're talking about Isaiah the prophet. Okay? I'm going to show you the direct prophecy of that. For every, uh, We're in Isaiah 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be burning in fuel of fire. And I've, I, I already shared with that, Ed points back to uh, John 3, which is Acts 2. But we're not talking about that. For unto us, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Okay? What's that say? That thing that was born, that was the Everlasting Father. But we just read that the Holy Ghost is the Father. So how is the Father born from the Father, which is the Holy Ghost? Yeah. It's not confusing. You can confuse yourself if you didn't know there was one God. And that one Spirit became man. And all these scriptures, this whole series is, is showing you over and over and over again who Jesus is. Okay? That one Spirit became flesh. To save what is saved, Matthew 1? To save his people from their sins. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. What's the name of the Father? Jehovah. Okay? What's the saving name of the Father? Jesus. Christ means Father and Son. Ask any Jew, devout. Ask them about their Shema, their prayers, morning, evening, afternoon. What's on their doorpost? What's on the box on their head? Wherever they wear that thing? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Not two, not three, not seven. Okay? You bring these goofy doctrines of uh, three, and they'll laugh at your face. That's why they reject Christianity for mostly, because most don't know what they're talking about. Preachers too. That's why there's a God-man series. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple more scriptures. 
Galatians 4.4, 4, to, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Okay? Now, when you get the Holy Ghost, if you are born again from above, it's a God thing. Receiving that spirit, it's a God thing. Men can only baptize you. We can lead you into repentance. Okay? Blood, water, spirit. Blood, repentance, water, baptism, and what? Whose name? Saving his people from their sins. Jesus. That's what the apostles of the Bible baptize in Jesus' name. Spirit. Three components of John 3. Jesus said, you must be born again of water and spirit. You will not enter the kingdom. Cannot see it. Will not enter. Okay? Cannot. Will not. That's Jesus' words, not mine. I'm just pointing this out to you. I lost my train of thought. How is it the spirit of his son? Right? God has sent forth, Galatians 4, 4, the spirit of his son into your hearts. That's people that got the Holy Ghost. Now he's calling the Holy Ghost the son. Okay? Sounds confusing, don't it? It would be confusing if you didn't know he was one. And your heart's crying, Abba, Father. So when his spirit of his son comes in there, the language of father comes out. Father. Why? He's the father. Remember Isaiah 9? The son born, child called, born. The son given. His name is God, the mighty God. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. See, it's a father and a son. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Right? Father, Everlasting Father, God, Prince of Peace. He's the same, he's telling you he's the same dude. The Spirit. It was prophesied by Isaiah. And it's recorded by Matthew here, in this case. Uh, Galatians, this is Paul. See, everything connects. It's like a perfect, perfect, perfect puzzle. Okay, I got one more scripture to share with you. Hopefully you're not uh, frazzled in your brain. Now, when I was exposed to all this stuff, I had to pray, man, and study. Because I'm like, what's going on? Right? I'm in Acts 20, last scripture, unless God tells me to use something else. Acts 20, 26. Therefore, I take unto you the day, this record, I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole, all the counsel of God. Take heed, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, over to which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. Acts 20.28 20, says the Holy Ghost has purchased the church with his own blood. Now tell me, how did the Holy Ghost get blood? He's telling you right here. Who wrote Acts? Paul. Or Luke did, I'm sorry. Luke wrote Acts. So we got a witness of Luke. We got a witness of Paul. We got a witness of God. We got a witness of Isaiah. And we got a witness of Matthew. In this mini Bible study of who Jesus is. Okay? We got five dudes of the Bible. Prophets. God himself. Twelve. Original twelve. A couple of them guys. Luke came later. Matthew was the original 12, Luke came later, Paul came later. See, these revelations came later, came later, came later. Okay? They put it all together and it fits in one thing. How did the Holy Ghost get blood? Because he's Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross. The Bible says, what happened? He gave up the ghost. Right? Abba, Father, Spirit of his Son. But it says the Son is the Father. Isaiah 9. See, I'm connecting everything for you. You probably have to watch these videos over and over and over to get this. Okay? But keep in mind, why did the apostles baptize in Jesus' name of the Bible? And they don't do that too much no more. Grave error. Okay? Matthew 7, what did you say? If he was going to find his truth. Okay? I'm making these videos, reaching for souls, giving a revelation of what God showed, shared with me, gave to me. He called me to teach, and that's what I'm doing. Okay? God bless you.